Good morning, so today we are going to Countryside Live over near Harrogate at the Great Yorkshire Showground. Um, so I keep planning to do these little vlogs to give you guys an idea of what I do day to day. However, last week was sort of the first time I tried to put one together, but I just, in the end, didn't get enough content because I was just basically too busy taking photographs and the classes were sort of like non-stop all day. So I didn't get around to that yesterday, uh, last weekend. So this weekend, I'm going to have a bit of a practice today. I'm going to take you guys over to Countryside Live. We're not doing the photographs there, we're just going to watch. We've got quite a few friends and customers competing, so it'll be really nice to sort of watch people and just enjoy it really. showing rooms at Countryside Live because the other one's actually indoors and I'll show you that in a little bit but it's um, definitely very different but yeah this is a fab ring great long side gallop past the grandstand this is the one that's been pulled in first In ninth place. Ninth place. ninth place is number 24. Congratulations, Emma Mockley and the Purple Stallion, Wee Chieftain. And 
and in eighth place. Eighth place goes to number four. It is Emma Bell and the Piebald Gelding Spellbound. In seventh, seventh goes to number ten, Bethany Ellis with her own Exile Love Scotch. And in sixth place, sixth place goes to number 28. This is Laura Richardson with her own Piebald Gelding, Nancy Select, Magpies Gem. Coming to the top five now, in fifth place, fifth place goes to number 31. Well done, Jen Wilson and Little Tinkerman. Fourth place. Fourth goes to number 12, Rachel Fairburn and Kiwi the Third. Top three coming up. Third place, number 30, Theo Hopkins and the Piebald Geldy, Hunky Dory. And in second place, and also winning the rosette for the best Yorkshire exhibit, Abby Hurst with Ruby the 26th. Well done, Abby Hurst. And our winner of these 27, the winner, well done, Lucy Gordon Burgess and Bird Wallace, regular class. Thank you very much for bringing your lovely traditionals and your cobs and the native types back for this class here in the Top Spoke White Rose Arena at Countryside Life. Thank you very much for coming forward. What a super class. Great to see you all here today. Yeah. 
So we're just leaving Countryside Live. We have had, it's been good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been really good. But it's started off lovely and sunny and now it's absolutely throwing it down. So we look like drown rats. But we are going to go home and get our pyjamas on and probably do a little bit of product development, I think, because we have some new products coming out next week. We want to be organised for that. Um, it was nice to catch up with lots of people, saw lots of friends. Um, some friends did really well. It was really nice to see. So I have a few photographs. I just took a few of some friends, so I'll probably add those in here as well. Good morning. So I've done one of those really annoying things when you wake up before your alarm, but you know you've got more time, so you're about to sleep. I should have done that because now I'm feeling a little bit worse. <laughs> but we are just going to get dressed and then I will be heading off to Middleton Park to take some dressage photographs. So we have a bit of a line today, it's about 7 o'clock, uh, which isn't too bad. Milton Park's only sort of half an hour drive. But yeah, so we've, I'll get dressed. I'm going to need a lot of layers this morning because it's absolutely miserable outside. Um, but yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I've just gone out to the car, it is absolutely freezing and it's so windy. But we are indoors today, so that is a big relief. Um, normally, we would take the event trailer and set up the gazebo in front so that we have the trailer for Dan to work in and then the gazebo for people to view the photographs. But um, today it's on hard standing and gazebos don't fare so well on hard standing. It's not so bad in grass when you can peg them in. But we're, we're not going to risk it today and the organiser has very kindly said we can set up inside. So today's setup is going to be a little bit different but um, I think with, with what we do you do have to be able to adapt what you do and set up in a different way because sometimes you get to the venue and it's just not even possible to do what you would anticipated. So but yeah this will be much much better. <laughs>
So we had to get pizza on the way home and Dr Pepper and also sweets. Couldn't help it, could we? Could not help it. It was an accident. It's an accident. Big snack accident. Okay, so we just got home. Um, nice day dressage, really organised. There were tests from 20 past nine until 3.30 and it just ran like clockwork all day like the judge didn't have a rest for two minutes it was just one horse and the next horse straight away so i was gonna have a wander around and give you guys a little bit of a tour but i didn't get time to do that in between so what i'm gonna do is i have another appointment there in a few weeks so i'll give you a bit of a better look around then um i think we have 51 tests today so it was quite busy to say it was quite a short day um so what i'll do now is i'll upload the photographs um and what i did whilst i was out is i did some short videos of a little bit of people's tests and what i'm going to do is add onto there um the photographs that correspond so you guys can sort of see um what's happening when i get the shots that i do so hopefully you guys find that interesting so um, I'll do another video next week if you guys enjoyed this. I'd be really appreciative if you give it a like and if you could subscribe. So hopefully I will see you all next week. Bye.